Today I'm just going to have a look at the new essential phone. It is the white version. Now I have kept the plastic covers on because I haven't got a case for this yet. So that is why it looks a bit strange. Now the white version has these white border around the screen. If you get the black version, this is black. And the black version also has a dark silver titanium surrounding it. Now the fingerprint is super fast. Some of the other features I'd like to show you, which is where the earpiece is. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just this bit here. It's a little slit. It also has a notification light in here as well. Now, the phone is pretty much stock Android. As you can see, and you have your Google Now. Uh, it's very similar to the Google Pixel and how stock it is. The screen is uh, really high resolution, you can't really see the pixels on it. Let's have a quick look around the phone and then I'll show you the charger. Got a USB C at the bottom, SIM tray at the bottom as well. The volume up, down, and a power button all on the same side. So look at the power brick. As you can see, it's 100 to 240 volts, which means it covers most countries, and so you don't really need any other plug adapter. All you need is something which will go on the end of this and will fit your country's plug. So the USB Type-C socket is here. Now you get a USB-C to USB-C cable, nicely braided. And also the headphone uh, jack adapter. Here's just a quick comparison of the size wise compared to an iPhone 10. Pretty much the same size. The essential phone being slightly squarer compared to the iPhone 10. Anyway, I hope you like this quick review of this phone.